what's up everybody, my name's Lucas, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this episode we will be playing Mission 7 of Combat Evolved, The Library. Probably one of the more, I'll say, infamous Halo levels. Um, you either love it or you hate it, there's a lot of, not a lot of people that are if you're in the subject. Um, I personally do not care for this level at all. It's probably my least, this is my least favorite Halo Combat Evolved level. But, we'll see how it goes. Also, coincidentally, I think it's the longest level. <laughs> this and, um, two betrayals are pretty both pretty long levels, but I find two betrayals much more interesting. This one's just straight flood the whole time. Don't get me wrong, the flood's interesting, I like fighting them, they're cool. I just fighting them for 45 minutes straight. Not my idea of a good time. I never know if it's just best to run through this level or try to fight as much as possible. These guys is a shotgun. I need to find that. Maybe not. So yeah, the index. Yeah, this level is basically to go all the way up there and get the. Um, I want the longest way possible, but get the index, which is the basically the firing mechanism that activates the halo rings. I gotta watch out for the blood with the shotguns. It's helpful because they give you ammo, but at the same time, if they're close enough, they'll one shot you. So I've never been sure on this map, but I'm pretty sure it's. Enemies just come at you non stop. You know, I don't remember much about this level on the, um, in the flood novelization. As you, I think it's a forgettable level. Not, I don't remember how miserable this is, but I do remember. But I don't remember really there being much to it except just being a giant maze, basically.
There's a bunch of sections in this level like this where you gotta wait for the to spark to come. Open the door for you. Or maybe I was at the wrong door. <laughs> but he is opening that door, so you gotta wait on him. My fault. I don't there's ever a moment in this level where you're not being chased by some infection forms. First of ten. Lovely. Love bomb. I do. I, I love. I, think, I do think Gildy Spark is a very interesting character. That he's just like he can't understand. He doesn't really know what's happening. He thinks that we're here. That we know what's going on. And, it's obviously not the case. Oh no. He's gonna be the worst weapon to fight the flood. That is a sniper rifle, surprisingly. I do think there was a assumption for that in books where snipers are not very effective against blood. Something to do with like them, their body being such mush that the bullet just it's going, it's going so fast it just flies through their body. Something to that effect. about this in the last video, but I think I, I think I mentioned it, but I didn't go into detail. The Flood, I remember vividly the, the, um, in the Flood novel on 343 Guilty Spark, that level, it's the, one of the few times in the book that Chief takes like a serious injury, or g gains a serious injury, one of the little infection for me thingies, they, uh, Basically, burrow right through his armor. I think on his thigh. Just kind of like let you know that, like, wow, these things are pretty intense. They can just go straight through Milner armor. Give a shotgun. We did. I'm only playing on heroic for this because this level is a absolute nightmare on legendary, as you can probably imagine. Just a small handful of reinfection forms could take you out if you're not careful. Also, uh, this map's interesting, like looking with the visuals. I just, I think most of it's kind of bland. Like this is kind of cool. Like imagining what this might be. But, I don't know. Already. First level done. Now we go up. I 
comes from a storytelling storytelling perspective, like this level's still kind of cool in a way because it still carries on the mantra of all the other game all the other levels of being mysterious and like you having no idea what this place is or what it's really for, like why it was built. Even the simples with me? Right. Letting a carrier get around your face, not the best idea. Are you trying to hide from me, buddy? There's another hold the line section. Some sentinels with me this time. A little, bit, a little bit. They get. They mainly get the uh, infection forms. That's where the infection forms are the biggest danger is when you shields are down. So they'll start feeding to your health. Some of you guys have some shotguns. Come on. Sometimes helps to look on the old graphics. Gives me details. Oh well. Whoops, we got a signal. Right here. Which is obviously less than ideal. Behind me, maybe? No. I know, like, at one section there's like a little area like this right here. Maybe it's this next one. Sentinels can use their weapons to manage the flood only for a short time. Speed is of the essence. Flood, unfortunately, they <laughs> they, have a sh they have a rocket launcher, and you're three inches away from them. They will not hesitate whatsoever to let it fly. This level is kind of scary with the, um, was it fog? Here's a rocket launcher. Should I take this? Why not? But yeah, this level is scary with the fog scroll on because it takes away the, um, takes away your minimap, and your minimap is vital on this mission. Very vital. Well, where are you guys going? Come on. I think it's cool that uh, Bungie, like, even though this is such an old game, they were able to give the um, platforms, the AI, sophisticated enough to be able to um, walk on walls and stuff. I feel like that must have been pretty difficult, especially back in 2001. I 
gonna say at some point I thought there was a I love how they go try to run away, hide. It's kind of funny. I don't know who said that. that. He mentioned that in this game, but um, yeah. So basically, once the flood has been released for a while, they'll start to uh, release spores into the atmosphere. The spores can basically turn you into a flood, like just by breathing it in. You don't even have to be attacked by an infection form, which is pretty terrifying. It's a really good line in Halo 3, um, where the shipmaster, the elite, he, um, the humans are kind of playing down the flood threat and the elite basically says something to the effect of one single blood spore can wipe out a species or something like that. Just kind of showing you the danger of the flood if they're able to this, this lord fester. Whoa! Yep, yeah, there's a rock launcher guy. There we go. Running too fast, too hard, you'll get uh, surrounded. Understood. Um, I think I never understood about Halo. I'm sure it's in some of the, but like, really extended lore, like about the Forerunners and stuff. Like why? Because the Forerunners are extinct, basically, because they fired the Halo rings and wiped out all sentient life. So the Flood wouldn't have a food source. But who went in and locked the Flood up on the Halo ring, like? I don't know, maybe they were able to contain the outbreak on this ring before it got too big. I've beaten this game probably a dozen times and I don't know the answer to that. Definitely have to look that up sometime. I'm sure like Hidden Xperia or something like that has done a video on it. Actually dead. in the games you never um, all the sentinels are that one pretty much that one variety there there's a couple unique ones in Halo 2 but um, for the most part they're all those small ones but in that um, 
Bill Spawning's book I read a couple weeks ago. Um, basically, the only enemy they fight most of the book are these giant sentinels that are very intelligently adapt to what the Spartan 3s are doing and they react to their. Um, about their tactics and they evolve and do a number on the Spartans, to be honest. It'd be interesting if we get to fight some of those in Halo Infinite. But we shall see. Is this? I forget. <laughs> it's gonna be like what? Five or six? Interesting. I, hope, I really hope they bring the flood back in uh, Halo Infinite. I think they'd look freaking awesome on the new graphics. You can really elaborate on the stuff they did in Halo 3 where you can see fellow marines getting turned right for your eyes whenever infection foams turned on them. That was always a really cool part of that game. Obviously they didn't have the technology for that in this game, but still. I love those chain reactions. part in this map is you always feel like you're being pursued and you don't really have a moment to rest which I think is probably unique to this level in this level alone in Halo. Maybe Cortana and Halo 3 because uh, that mission's all flooded too but you really feel that being constantly chased feeling and this even more.
It's nice that you can go just from loading to shooting, I know. Some more quote unquote realistic games, you have to. Once you finish reloading, you gotta pull the pump. Also, if you don't know anything about the Flood, um, what happens to people when they are quote unquote assimilated into the Flood? It's pretty horrific. They can still remember, they still are conscious of each combat form and carrier form and everything. They're basically, those infection forms like burrow their way into their victims. Uh, Their nervous system and controls them that way, but they're still pretty much 100% um, conscious, lucid throughout. So it's very dark. Like the last half of the um, not last half, but the last part of the flood muffle um, follow a. Green is turning to he gets assimilated into the flood, comes combat for him. He kind of uh you see that he's like trying to stop himself and he's like killing his fellow marines. He's, he's trying to stop but he can't. So the infection form is controlling his nervous system and his body. Shotgun. charge in this game. There we go.
checkpoint. These guys just keep coming, they're gonna sit down eventually. Be way harder than it needed to be. 
the energy barrier surrounding the index will deactivate when we reach the ground floor. Ooh. Alrighty, well I think that was the library. Not a very fun mission, if I do say so myself. You may now retrieve the index. I do love the music though. Whoops. Sorry. Protocol requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Your organic form renders you vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach the control room and activate the installation. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. We must hurry. Alrighty, thank you again for tuning into my channel and watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See ya.